Hello, everybody. This is your old Papa Palpy. This is the USS Carolina. Wait, no. Scratch that. That's the Colorado. I don't really like this ship at all. I mean... Uh... For those of you that don't know, the Colorado is the slowest ship out of all of the tier 7s. I mean, it is... Oh, it's so slow. I can't stand this ship. 1919. Oh, so this is kind of Dreadnought. Well, it was laid down in 1919 and was in service from 1923 to 1947. This thing is not very good at maneuvering. It's not fast enough to pull off really, really crazy turns. I don't know the turning circle of this ship. It's probably really bad. Uh, many words could be used to describe the Colorado. Agile is not one of them. When I first got this ship, I was very underwhelmed uh i've been st i was stuck on the new mexico for months mainly because i wasn't really playing united states battleships so since we got plenty of time on our hands let's just look more into what the ship has to offer i'm looking at the official wiki right now She became the final development phase. This is from the wiki, mind you. Uh, she became the final phase in development of the conventional battleship that featured hev very heavy armor protection for the vitally important parts of the ship. Key differences from her predecessors were her 406 millimeter main guns. So, was that 16 inches? 16 inch guns. This ship has 16 inch guns. Really? Oh yeah. Yeah, this is one of those ships you could just leave running at, like, full speed. You know, do some errands. Switch over the laundry. I bet you could probably run this ship while doing the dishes. This thing is slow. I'm not sure how great the secondaries are because I never get close. Oh. Oh, okay, that... Oh, I don't like that. Once you... What? Oh, I got a fellow Colorado following me, and, uh, there's a Frenchie destroyer in our cap. I turn about, uh, but the rudder shift is slow. Oh, this doesn't look good. I got myself into a bad way. Oh, there's a Massachusetts. And, oh, this is bad. This is not good. And he's shooting at the other Colorado. Better than you than me. Okay, ooh. Uh-oh. 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 Uh-oh, uh-oh. 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 Oh no, this is not good. Oh no. Oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh no. Oh. Oh no. Two fires on deck. Oh. The situation is disintegrating. And his secondaries. Oh yeah. Oh god, that is good. Now I want a Massachusetts. Oh my god, that thing has really good secondaries. I forgot. Die, Nagato. This is going to end quickly. Oh, oh! I'm retreating as fast as I can. Oh, oh god, this is bad. Oh! 
Jesus. I got him. You're going to pay for that. I'm paying for that. Oh, God. Oh! Oh, yeah, I'm on the short bus for sure. This was a bad idea. Those secondaries are still hitting me 12 kilometers away. How is that possible? This guy's out for blood. Look at him. I'm probably gonna miss with those shells. Oh, HE fire. Uh, oh my god, really? That thing didn't even hit the deck. It, like, exploded on the torpedo bulge. No! No! <laughs> That's taxpayer money well spent. Admiral Screwitz runs the USS Colorado into the ground. Well, that was a great success. And now for something completely different. Let's play the Richelieu. Uh, the Richelieu is a fun ship. It's basically got all the guns up front and it has three 152 millimeter guns on its back. Yep, I was right. Basically, what this ship has, it, it has an entire French cruiser on its back. And, in contrast to the Colorado, it has the ability to be one of the fastest, if not the fastest, battleship in the entire game. Richelieu is a fun ship. Uh, I got it a couple days ago. It cost me 10 million credits, so it, it completely drained my in-game wallet, so... And then I had to put all the upgrades on it, and even with the sales, <laughs> I was brought down to like 200,000. And then I bought the Colorado. I don't think I've fitted any upgrades to the Colorado, and if I do, I should get that propulsion upgrade, because I got enough XP for it. Vive la France. Um, I forgot to put camo on it, great. Six and seven... Uh, British battleships, or no, French battleships have terrible firing angles. Um, it's kind of like, uh, the, the tier four, uh, the tier four British and German ones, where you can't get all your guns to bear unless you're facing entirely broadside. It's kind of like that for French ships, and you have almost all of your guns located in a single turret. Like, uh, the Normandy. The Normandy is one of my favorite ships, because when I first got it, I was shocked at how agile the ship was in comparison to what I was used to. Which was, like, uh, the New Mexico, the Wyoming... Uh, I felt a little bit too short. Um, uh, basically those ships, right? But when I got the Normandy, after using the, what was it, the Britannia? Which I think is the Tier five. The tier 5, the Britannia is like the, 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 the French version of the New York, which is kind of interesting. But yeah, this ship is really weird. I think it's... Oh, oh. Well, I hope the Bismarck takes a couple of those. Yep, the Bismarck is done. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, better than you than me. Oh. Oh my god, this is terrible. Santa Claus? Hello? Baltimore? Eat lead. Die. Oh! That was a lot of damage for three over penetrations. Jesus Christ, this is bad. And there's a chap I have right there. That guy's going crazy Ivan, man. Look at him. Oh, this is a train wreck. Oh, my God. We've got all these guys. You know what? Maybe I should just join them. I'm the outlier over here. I don't want to get hit by that thing's torpedoes. If it does, I'm not really an expert on Soviet cruisers, but 
They always have those really short range torpedoes that they always got. I'm just hugging the island. I don't want to get hit with anything. Oh, I don't have to worry about the chap AF because he got blowed up. He exploded. I want that uh, Jean Bart, the one that has the 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 speed reloader. I really want that because that that just seems like a lot of fun. Okay, let's aim for the citadel here. Oh yeah. Okay, amount of damage. I'd say put on the parking brake here, Jeff. Oh yeah. Oh yeah! Give me that! Kill ya, Frenchie, for that! Put on the parking brake! Oh. Minimal damage. For, I guess, minimal effort. I am burning! I don't think battleships are supposed to burn like this. Oh, yeah! I don't think I'm gonna... Wait, how much was left on there? I didn't actually pay attention. Oh, yeah! Look at that! <laughs> oh, that's... Oh, okay. Well, good thing that fighters spotted those torpedoes. I'm not a really big fan, but I got a, I got a Citadel hit. I've never gotten one of those in this thing. Well, at least not on a battleship. Okay, New Mex, you want to brawl? Let's brawl. And I overshot him. Vanguard, what are you doing? I'm out of pushover. I just citadeled you. What are you doing? I think he beached himself. And he's, he's eyeing down that cruiser over there. Because he is obviously not paying any attention to the battleship that's right here. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Give me some loving. Ah, oh. No loving for me, huh? Okay. T. And he's gone. Well, that was worth how much? Not much. A couple of thousand damage. Yeah. Okay, well. I'm just sitting here now. I mean, what am I supposed to do? I could go out there and blow up. Very dishonorably. You Englishmen have no honor. You know, like that. Richelieu is a good boat. Deploy the fighter. I don't know much about the French Air Force. I'm pretty sure there's a joke about it somewhere, though. And I, I think I screwed that up. What? Maybe? Maybe not. Ah! Oh! You japed me! And now he's firing armor piercing. And I'm giving a broadside. Yep, that's the right thing to do in this situation. Yes, it is. Oh. There goes my fighter. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, yeah, he sailed right into the last two. Oh, this isn't going to be good. Oh, no. <laughs> you got to give him the secondaries. Oh, no. I think he's about ready to eat a couple torpedoes. Yeah, my way out of go. It's time to get yours, Britishman. Ah! Here goes the secondaries. Ah, good job, Japanese guy. This is a very mediocre match. I was expecting so much more. Let's see if I can get a shot off on this guy. Ah! 
Come on, Orange Jesus. Come on. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Not a single damaging hit. <laughs> I didn't pray hard enough. That's the problem. Come on, baby! Ah, uh, he's turning white. Never mind. At least I got a pretty ribbon. Well, that was trash. I didn't even get over 100k. I didn't get a kill. I didn't get anything out of this game except for a bunch of pretty ribbons and a citadel on HMS Vanguard. I'm a bit jittery. I drank a little bit too much coffee, so... I wonder if we should go back to the Colorado. And I got Defensive Fire AA. Oh, it's just a premium consumable. Why only give me one of those? Like, why not just give me, like, a couple of actually useful things? No one, in, no one plays carriers! And when they do, it's like instant deletion. It's so like Jingle said, if a carrier wants to sink you, he's gonna sink you. Oh yeah, my Colorado's back. I don't, I don't want to play the Colorado. Let's play the Colorado, though. 19.2 knots, I think it is. Let's read up on the Colorado again. She was outclassed by other battleships of her time. Yeah, you got that right. Uh, the very pinnacle of the American Dreadnought and one of the Big Seven, Colorado is the last ship of this type you will experience within U.S. Battleship Line. While retaining the sluggish nature of previous ships in the line, she has increased range and hitting power thanks to her 16-inch guns, and as well as her strong anti-aircraft armament. Ah, oh, crap, I clicked off the page. Um... Oh no, base propulsion is 18.6 knots. How beautiful. And with the uh, upgrade, it turns into 21 knots. Wow, you're missing out on a full three knots. Uh, pros, all or nothing armor. She has the same, same, same solid 343 millimeter all or nothing armor layout as the New Mexico. Uh, being easy to angle and providing a large number of immune zone. Okay, so like auto bounce areas, okay? Uh, good gun characteristics. Yeah, you got that right. Um, good damage, good penetration, overmatching 25mm bow armor. That's very nice. Uh, uh, reasonably good accuracy. Good AA, good steering response times, and tight turning radius, okay. Ooh, something to shoot at! Okay, let's go back to reading. Um, very low mobility, this is the top con right now. Uh, very low mobility, feels even more sluggish than in New Mexico. Well, I, I could have told you that without looking at the wiki. Uh, also has atrocious acceleration without the top engine. I don't have the top engine. I forgot to upgrade it. Also, we're... Oh, uh, we're lagging. Okay, that's neat. Almost ready to fire. Uh, I think I got an idea of what I want to hit. Okay, we're gonna go right a little bit. Um, low number of guns. Having four fewer guns than our predecessor. Being accurate and making your shots is much more important. Poor close quarters defense, so not very good uh, armor design. Uh, secondary armament, okay. Oh yeah, that that's beautiful. Oh, it's a North Carolina, a big brother. Okay, at least I got plenty of stuff to repair. Ah! Oh no, it's a German. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I'm not paying attention at all. <laughs> this is bad. How'd I go? I'm gonna wipe you off the face of the earth with these guns once I get them reloaded. Turn away, I dare ya. Look at that. Look at that! Nothing. 
A big box of nothing. Okay, let's turn around. I'm gonna keep on reading the wiki. Uh, 25 millimeter plating airway wear, vulnerable to HE spam. Huh. How topical. People lose ya. It's 16 inch shell. Aw. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was armor piercing. It probably put a gigantic hole in that ship. You know, destroyers have it lucky in this game, you know? If a 16-inch shell hits the bow of a destroyer, doesn't matter if it's armor piercing or high explosive. That destroyer is not going to be floating. Oh. Did you guys have a nice Christmas? Do you even celebrate Christmas? Hit the T! Hit the T! Christmas without you. Another stupid over penetration. Yeah. Oh! Yeah! Oh. Nothing happens. <laughs> I've got a lot of picks for broadsides, but now they're all slowly angling me. It shouldn't be a surprise that I'm probably one of the worst uh, World of Warships players when it comes to this tier. Oh, yeah! Fire alarm. That Cleveland's gonna get his one of these days. This isn't going to be a pinwheel. I can't move faster than 18.6 knots. How do you expect me to outmaneuver the- Aw, oh, crap, I overled him. Or maybe, no- Oh, God! Oh, Jesus Christ. This is bad. I don't think I'm gonna survive much longer. Yes, set a fire. Come on, do it. Oh, that's up. Oh, no. 19, 19 health. 19. Oh! <laughs> oh, I suck. I'm a disgrace to this uniform. It's a really cool ammo pattern. Ammo pattern? Camo pattern. Might as well be an ammo pattern, because he's going to have a lot of shell holes in him in a second. Okay. Since that was a train wreck, let's actually upgrade the Richelieu with the second hull. Now one thing you should know about the uh, second hull for the Richelieu is that you... Oh, I don't have enough money. Oh. Well, that puts a wrench in my plans. 